instructional strategies. In this video, we will discuss three inclusive instructional strategies to reduce common barriers to student learning. What we did is we talked a lot about how to reduce cognitive load, doing things like reducing the number of words and increasing visuals, making sure the kids could do that. And then we did a lot of training around different kinds of tools to do, make that happen. How to work with Google Docs, how to work with um, Pear Deck, how to work with all kinds of different tools that kids could use so they could manipulate the work. There are several graphic organizers that we use. There is actually um, something that is very similar to a series of keys that they are to use to draw key points from every source. So the idea is that as they look at this primary source, they have three keys or five keys that they're supposed to pull out. Okay, what is one key point about their armor that you want to include in your project? What is one key point about, for this student with the alternate framework, the code of conduct they're supposed to follow that you want to include in your project? I really want to know um, what you guys are thinking when you see all these random objects in terms of Newton's laws of motion. I am going to kind of be modeling how I think about objects when I see them, and then I'm going to ask you to do the same, okay? We want to share with each other our thought processes. We want to maybe uh, show somebody that we think a little differently about objects when we look at them, and maybe somebody can say, oh, I never thought of that. I know that it's hollow. I know about the relative size. So I can think about the force needed for me to pick it up. I can think about the force needed for me to kick it. Uh, uh, maybe kick it just, you know, not very far or try and kick it far. I can use my prior knowledge of this object to understand how to play soccer. But then when everybody flipped the card and we have our bowling ball, um, when I think about that in terms of Newton's laws, I know that it is solid. I know that I bowl with an 11 pound ball. Um, and I know that it would require a lot more force for me to move that, that object. And when I think about moving an object and force and making it move, what law do you think about? And it, there could be many different answers. So he has little cards where it says fast, slow, difficult. And today in our lesson, we had um, cards and he had to answer questions if it was fast, slow, difficult. So I helped him with the difficult part. I have adapted materials for AJ for class and we find that the first day he doesn't really understand what we're trying, the concept we're trying to you know, get him to understand. So I'll have to readapt. We've done that in social studies a lot this year. And um, when the students are doing a timeline, we will also do a timeline and um, I'll print pictures or images and, and put dates. In terms of the actual means of doing the assignments, it might vary from time to time. Um, the cool thing about Google Classroom is that there are a lot of interactive features. So there are a lot of drag and drops. There are a lot of um, pictures that we could use on a Google Jamboard, on a Google Slides that could be used as a bridge uh, for the students on the alternate framework. Are you interested in learning more about inclusive strategies? Visit the TIES website to find more information on the topics listed.